Hi, I'm Anthony Minahan, and I'm the owner of Minahan Metalworks and the creator of the Mudox Cable Kit. Today we want to thank you for ordering the cable kit from us, and ahead we've got some videos to help you install it. Before we get into the installation, we'd like to take time to address how to properly use the Mudox. Always be informed on safe towing practices. Train employees to follow the practices. Take a look at the article, Extracting Stuck Equipment Safely, from the Purdue Extension on our website, mmetalworks.com, for more information about pulling. Always inspect Mudox parts before and after each use. Replace parts if they are worn or damaged. Never use chains, straps, or other cables in place of a tow rope. Never pull at an angle or jerk on equipment. Our brackets are designed to give if the force is greater than the combine can take. If your brackets bend or break, do not pull the combine. So I'm just going to go over real quick uh, everything that's involved on the front end of your combine. So here are your main two front pull brackets. These are the backer plates here. We've got eight 7 8 by 10 bolts that will bolt on, bolt them onto the combine. Uh, 16 7 8 flat washers, eight 7 8 lock washers, and eight 7 8 nuts. Here we've got the two shackles that will pin here and pin here. Uh, we provide these wires here just so you'll wire them right through this hole here onto the clevis so they don't back out on you and you lose your pin later on. So uh, with that, let's just go ahead and get started putting it on. We're going to go ahead and mount these front brackets on the front axle of the combine. And it's going to take two people to do this. The brackets are heavy, hard to handle. So we'll go ahead and get started here. What we like to do is take a flat washer, install it on the bolt. Drop it in the top two holes of the bracket. Now we're going to go ahead and hang the front bracket on the very front of the axle like this. And then so at this point, you're going to want your partner to be ready with his back plate, flat washers, lock washers, and nuts. And then we'll just go ahead and loosely install the back plate on the top bolts. And then it'll just hang by itself. Now that the bracket's hanging by the top two bolts, you can go ahead and put your bottom two bolts in. So you probably have to do it like this to get past this brace on the inside of the bracket and just shove it through the slot. Do the same thing on the other side. Put your flats, locks, and nuts on the back side. Now you can go ahead and raise the bottom two bolts as high as you can and then tighten all four bolts evenly. Now we've got the bracket installed on the driver's side of the combine. We're gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the passenger side of the combine. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach the cables to the clevises and then the clevises to the front brackets. So we'll start by just pushing the cables underneath the combine. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and just slip the shackle through the end of the cable and then we'll just pin it right up to the bottom of the bracket. Then you're going to want to slip the wire through the pin hole on the, on the pin and then run it right around the shackle and wire it so you don't lose your pin. Now we're going to go ahead and demonstrate how to install the rear bracket. So new for 2020, we've gone to this single plate. Um, we'll go ahead and install that with these two threaded rods, uh, lock nuts, two lock nuts, two regular nuts, two lock washers, two flat washers, and two oversized flat washers. Also new for 2020, uh, we're going to use these plastic cable stops, and that's going to replace the bungees that we've been using. Next thing you're going to want to do is install a lock nut on the end of each one of these threaded rods. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a regular flat washer on your threaded rod. We're going to slip it through the slot. You can use either set of slots. Uh, they both line up. We're going to choose the outside slot on this one. Raise the bracket up into place. Stick it through the hole. 
move to the other side. Now we're gonna go ahead and stick a flat washer on the other threaded rod, swing our bracket up into place, install it through the slot and through the hole. Now we're gonna go ahead and use these oversized flat washers on the back side, a lock washer and a nut, and tighten her up and you got her. So now we'll go ahead and pull the cable through the slot. Then we're gonna use the, these plastic stops to hold tension on the cable to keep the cable up off the ground. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll take a 3 8 by five and a half bolt with a flat washer, stick it through one half, do the same thing with the other hole, position it over the cable, put it together. Then you're gonna use a flat washer on each bolt and a lock nut. And here you're gonna to have to have a little help because you're gonna to have to have somebody pull some pressure on the cable when, before you tighten this up. And that's what you have when you're finished, just like that. Now we're gonna get ready to go ahead and show you how to install the cable hangers. So here's how you put the cable hangers together. This would be the lower half, this would be the top half. You use the half by one and a half bolt, come from the back side of the lower half, put them together like that, put a lock nut on, and tighten it up. Just don't tighten it so tight that you can't still move it like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and install a lock nut on the end of each threader rod, the same way we did with the rear bracket. Just tighten it down snug, and there you go. Okay, now you just kinda wanna see where the best location for your cable hanger is gonna be. And if you swing it around here and try to match up to that hole, it just seems like it's gonna be a little tight. So looks like we could just put it right over there and just cross the cables in the back and it seems to make the most sense. Now we're just gonna slip our threaded rod through the hole. Stick it in like that. We're gonna use this oversized flat washer in the back with a lock washer and a net and just tighten it up. Using the mud ox to pull a combine out of the mud. Agree with other drivers on stop and go signals. Clear the area of bystanders. Empty the grain tank. Clear mud from behind the head and wheels, and if you're really buried, remove the head. Remove cables from hangers. Bring the cables together in the center. Install the long reach clevis through the eye of the cables. The pin goes on the thimble side. Pin tow rope in the end of the long reach clevis. Pull straight slow and steady. Okay, so when you hook your cables to this big clevis, one thing you wanna make sure that you do is you put the thimbles in the pin end of the clevis. We have had people pull so hard that they'll collapse these thimbles. Well, if you've got the pin through them, you can still get it out and get your clevis out. But if you've got it the other way, you'll never get the clevis back out. So that's just a little tip that we've learned over the years.